All right. We should be live. E Hello. My name is Stephanie Lantoya. No, always Lucian. Always Lucian, not caught up. Lucian takes the longest. Always, always, always takes the longest. So, good morning. Uh, my hand's a little bit better. Not great, but a little bit better. I will wait for a few of you to show up. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, um, this is another version of the beta, good morning, of Master Merchant Beta that I am testing. And you, whether or not it's a beta, you need to do this um, for the time period that you're offline, unless you plan to be on all day, because that might be as long as it takes to get everything downloaded because of how long uh, of a break um, DOS has put on it, how, you know, a delay, otherwise it it'll take forever. So it's just easy enough to just get started um, and just do it like this real quick until it's caught up. It will link in the background. So we're in Subliminates Antiquarian on NA. I'm waiting for that, um, that MM to link. We are in, it's a new life spa. Good morning, good morning. Potato is open. So here's where you check into the spa and look at the color matching, you know, the gold and the blue. That looks very nice. And then uh, we have a little seating area, probably waiting area while you're waiting to be, you know, seen in the spa. Very pretty. They added extra walls. And then here's a, I, I think this would be for meals, right? Doesn't it look like a little bit like a restaurant? And it, well, it would make sense then because this has a bakery portion. All right. And regular food, not just bakery. Looks good. Oh, another floor. We got noms. Second floor eating. Nice use of the Markwood um, ladders as fences or borders to keep you up. This is probably where they see the patients or the customers and give them massages. And this is where you would go to the sauna portion. They thought of everything. This is probably the most uh, sophisticated version I've seen of um, any of Subliminate's work, and it's really impressive. Not to say that their other work wasn't sophisticated, but when I notice something like another notch above, I always want to point it out like, wow, you're really, as good as you were, you're improving. And I mean that. Oh! Biradar, you're getting wet in there. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like there's another stairway, but I don't know how to get to it. Oh, around. Good morning. There's another floor, which isn't normally here. And this one is a library and, oh, wow. That's cool. An observatory. Unexpected. We got music, feast outside, and like we said, it was a new life spa, so it has a lot of new life stuff involved. I never mind seeing things out of season. It doesn't bother me. It's like you po you may have done it years ago and then you just made it open house. There's no problem with that. Hello, Jemima. 
And then here's a, well, this is more spooky. Uh, I expected new life. This isn't new life. This is, this is death and sacrifice. <laughs> new death. <laughs> That's all right. People have fun with that stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. My hand hurts. All right, moving on. Autumn's gift. No. Let's go to dark. Wait, we're, are we? No, we're not in Dark Hunters. No black vines here. Black vine villa, 35 days old. I'm going to these older ones again, trying to do the same thing. Trying to get give them some attention because they've been open for too long. But some of them I don't think have been visible to me. I don't know what's up. Like if maybe they were there was something wrong with uh, the community or something. Because they're new to me. All right. Oh, pretty. Look at that. Well, that's very nice. Good idea. Very uh, lush. What's the word I'm looking for? Serene. I always love when people build up so you can see the river. It is. It is beautiful. Oh, we have a second floor in here too. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Uh, what would you call that? There is a term for that where it's like a gallery wall where you don't put things on the same level. Groupings, stuff like that. It's very impressive. I don't have the knack for it. My husband does, but I don't. So here's the second floor with a bath. A little area to get ready with your perfumes and stuff. Very pretty. Okay. Which sanctuary, which one is your sanctuary? You have to remind me. And how much of an update? A little one, big one, what's up? All right, boulder trees, dark hunter, we saw that. We saw a dark hunter, we can't look at another dark hunter right now. Let's wait on the uh, meaty trio hawk, daggerfall, let's head there. I just don't remember which house is. Erstvile, okay. We go flucky, thank you for the follow. And Bojangles and Hayaru Dragon and Dayawi and I'm murdering your names and I apologize. I'm doing the best I can, which isn't saying much. All right, okay. Trio Hawk, we've got, Trio Hawk is very prolific, does a lot of stuff. And in every house that I've seen of theirs, they have a really good clutter game, and it looks like they wanted this to be a library. And I have to warn them, it's possible that they have a rat infestation. And they really should be careful because there are books, and rats are known to eat books. So you got to be really, really careful. Looks like they've already planned for the rat infestation, but that fox may not be big enough to take on that rat. Or that rat. Oh, and the kitty. You've got a teeny kitty, too. Okay, you need a bigger kitty to really take on that rat. Because that kitty is, is minuscule. Very nice house, actually. Good library. All right, let's go to Nighthawks. Uh, erstwhile. I know. Uh, oh, Night Raven, sorry. Birds, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this bird, that bird, who the hell knows? Just pick a bird. <laughs> night hawk, night raven, night pigeon. <laughs> Sorry, it's my terrible memory. <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> right. 
And your name even says Raven, and I said Hawk. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm a goofball. All right, here we are. Here we are. I have not signed in here yet before, so I'm glad we came. It doesn't mean I haven't been here. It's possible I've been here and just haven't signed in because there are days where ESC has weird sign-in problems. All right. So this is, hey, Dell. This is the beginning of the house. We've got an office, but gambling. I swear, it's just, you know, I just have so much difficulty remembering things just in general. So it's, it really, I probably wouldn't have remembered even if you told me two seconds before. Um, we got a kitty wandering. I wonder if this is like an area for like rights and, okay, assassin's office. See, I'm glad you're able to answer that question. We got glowies. It's a glower. It's, I think that's one of the new mushrooms, isn't it? We have dragon babies. Dragon babies, we make your dreams come true. If anyone gets that reference, you're old, just like me. <laughs> Crystals. <laughs> Shush, Del. <laughs> Your dirty mind like mine. That is exactly where my head went. <laughs> Good morning, Renegade. Oh, I'm doing a lot better. I can bend my hand. See? Isn't that impressive? Am I? <laughs> I thought I was just look. That's Those are my real glasses, actually. <laughs> Those are real. <laughs> I'm a nerd. <laughs> Who has glasses? Yes. All of these mushrooms and, and crystals and stuff are uh, very impressive. It does look black reach in. You've done a really good job of reproducing a lot of the black reach look. Well, thank you. They breathe. Oh, I see it. They, they kind of woof, woof, woof. Yeah, I see it. They're wiggly. Catfished! <laughs> Catfished by the real thing. <laughs> this is beautiful. I've been waiting to see if more people were going to do a black reach look. Blap? Blap? Yeah, uh, I have heard that that many people are trying to go with that now that they have those new mushrooms. But if I remember correctly, Alaric was trying to do that before they released that mushroom. Um, look at the candles in the eyes. Aren't they freaky? If you ever want to make eyes look like they're glowing, candles facing straight out are terrifying as eyeballs. Which is perfect for a house like this. Yeah, isn't it creepy? This is Night Raven, who is in our channel, which I have redubbed uh, Night Hawk, Night Pigeon, whatever bird I could think of at the moment. Because I'm bad at this. And here we have a nice kitchen, though. You could be part of the Dark Brotherhood, but eat well. Yes, that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. Uh, absolutely terrifying. Um, I forget whose that was. But it was, yeah, that was just utterly scary. Hold on a second. Muppet babies on dreams come true. Muppet Baby. Now I have that stuck in my head. Thanks, Muppet Babies. All right, hold on. Hold on. I have pictures. I have pictures of that terrifying moment when they were all staring at me. Here they are. Since you mentioned it, 
There you go. Whose house was that? Hell's ex-angel. That's whose house it was. Imagine getting a... They used it in this house, and they also used it in Earth's Wild Up. Imagine dying. You get shot back to the beginning, and this is what you see. It was really terrifying. So that's who did it, bastards. I kid, I kid. It's just very creative. Ooh, night. There we go. We've got a nocturnal over here. Poisons. Hoi! Hoi, hoi. All right. So, uh, I found another problem with uh, M.M. yesterday, but Charlacran already fixed it. So, it looks like I'm wondering when he's going to release the live version, because right now, I feel like it's working just right. This looks really good, especially with the dripping water that's I have learned as part of the house now. But with your lighting, it really shows it off. You scare me, Sifeth. Sifeth scares me. hard to say that word. Sithis. Even when I'm trying not to lisp, <laughs> I lisp it. Sithis. <laughs> oh. I think my husband did that to me because he started calling one of his pets in Gloomhaven a salad shooter. And then he, oh, well, visiting assassins. You never know. And so he calls it a salad shooter. And now he, like, ruins me because, like, I'm always thinking salad shooter. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open. Put in your pillow tight. Exit light. You all do this to me. You ruin me. It's beautiful. You did a great job. It's scary, but it's beautiful. Hey, Nywin. I have... I sent you your money. I haven't sent Faye Pixie their money from yesterday. It's good. It's a, I'd say that's a ma major change. It looks a lot different to me. So I feel like, you know, you undersold it. Good morning. It's definitely a big change. I like it. At least it seems a lot different to me. Really? Salad shooter! See, I think the Lalit Thuder because of my husband. He ruined it for me. He really did. All right, Dark Hunter we did. Dark Hunter we did. Captain Margo's we did. All right, I have a bunch saved too. All right, let's go to Cold Harbor, Cranor, Blackthorn, Far Reach Crossing. Now, a lot of Cranor's stuff is, ow. Oh, congratulations. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Uh, good for you. Maldorin. If you're looking for emotes, uh, I know that um, Ula does them, in case you need any. <laughs> well, you know me. I'm the EHT zealot. So, All of Cranor's stuff is uh, in one world. It's called Far, Far Reach. And it has a lot of um, EHT in it. He's one of the first adopters Yes, I'm on NA. He's one of the first adopters of EHT way back in the day. He and, he and I intended to uh, get to know one another back then because we were both into EHT and he was in my guild. And you can see he's using it here, obviously. Um, and there's a story behind each of these valleys. This is, welcome to Far Reach Valley, the guard says. Um, and so... And here you have a, a tabard up there. Good, you should. And you should link your por portfolio in my uh, Discord. And then... Oh, okay. Well, I'm just trying to promote my peeps. I'll promote you too. Um, I love my potatoes. Look at how fast the water's going. There are different speeds of water that you can pick in EHT. There's fast, there's slow, there's medium. 
depending on what. And you can even have still waters, you know, waters that aren't moving. So you pick what you want, you know, are you dealing with an ocean? Are you dealing with, you know, still water in a lake? Like, what are you dealing with? And that's, that's a way to adapt depending on what you want to do. It sends a different message dependent on what you pick. I love them. I actually am very loyal to my potatoes. There are very little I wouldn't do to help them out. Potatoes! Boil them, mash them. No, don't kill them! And these are all guards that he's put here, or soldiers, and they're going to hit you with rocks on the head. And Prince Ernskar is supervising. Which is what I figure he really only, only ever does, because he is, he's a lazy butt who does a lot of supervising and not a lot of work. And look, here you have the poor little farmer, uh, or the gardener, doing the gardening. Poor guy. So, you know, a lot of these places, I'm heading to drop supplies off to the inn and vineyards. If you need a ride, you're welcome to come. I wonder if he put a portal. He did, he put a portal. See, like how I said, all of them are in the same world. You can travel between his different houses and visit the different parts of the world of Far Reach, if you're interested. I've always loved camping rather than stuffy inns and rest stops. So, if you pick one of those homes, one of those places, you can go and see. Welcome to Far Reach Valley. Feel free to rest the night and have a meal. Tomorrow you can continue into the valley. Isn't it? He's always been a very creative guy. Um, he's not He's not like a little kid or anything, but his imagination always reminds me of somebody who, who plays with their dolls or their their figures like for a guy like you know action figures or whatever actually as a kid i played with rep action figures too so i guess whatever oh cool i've seen one thing in fallout that's it and it looked pretty advanced yeah yeah i saw a medieval building place like that so in a different game. Yeah. This is really cool looking, Cranor. Um, you just have a whole story going on and it amazes me. I'm always impressed. So, good job. Congratulations on expanding Far Reach Valley. John isn't on. I'll wait for John. Hmm. All right. Dark Hunter trio. I've done each of those. All right. Autumn Cannibal. There's a name for you. Daggerfall. Weird's Manor. Yeah. Do you want to see a cheesy joke? It's on my other screen, so hold on a second. It's goofy and stupid, just like me. <laughs> I'm a terrible person for terrible jokes. I'm terrible. Terrible. 427 out of 700. Weird manner. That sounds cool, but if they broke up my, my, if they ruined my settlement, I would be pissed. I don't see anything up there, so let's see what's outside. It looks like everything's going to be on the inside. This looks very, uh, interior build. Isn't it though? <laughs> sure. I'll, uh, I'll do that for you in a little bit. I have to edit it because it has... It has a, I screenshotted it instead of like saving it. Hey, Rosetta, we'll do yours next. I had uh, put it aside and not done it. 
because I was waiting for you. Oh, so we've got a an ego room, as I like to think of it. And we cook in here. Looks like they have a lot of the standard furnishings. It's possible that uh, they're working on it. You know, that they've they've incorporated a lot of clutter. They're working on it with uh, their own achievements, but it's probably started out with the standard. Been a crazy weekend, puppy. Congratulations, I think. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you, Maldoran. And and I love you as your streamer as well. I, I really do enjoy you. Let me put you, let me give you a shout out. And don't forget, you can promote it for yourself. You can promote yourself too. Don't be, don't be shy. So this is fun. All right, let's see. Okay, we were going to do a Rosetta. Let me, let me see. Uh, which Rosetta did I put aside? There should be at least one. Unless I have some um, Rosetta? Rosetta? I didn't. I left them in the main thing. All right. So this is the new EHT with the fix from the other day. You remember how it wasn't working quite right? The only thing that I've noticed that I'm not, that is a little bit of a mind screw is this open house is now over here so uh that just kind of threw me but i get it you know it's like now i get it it's fine oh good there's nothing wrong with even fake doing fake stuff is fine don't worry about it don't be so hard on yourself Hold on, hold on for one more day. Things are gonna change. I'm just, I get happy when I see you guys. Uh, Rosetta, here we go. Old Orcs Retreat Hammer Death. So I get a little silly and I sing and do stuff like that. But I'm not normally that weird, but I am lately. All right, I was salt to last. What will I be now? I'll be the Princess of Power. Shira. This is my sword. Actually, there was a Reddit thread somebody posted. It was hilarious of somebody did. Oh, I hope I have the right one. Probably not. Oh my god, I gotta find it. Oh my god, I gotta find it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta find it. I am lost and gone forever. Hold on. It was really good. Duh! It was, um... It was really worth it. But I can't find it. My husband showed it to me yesterday. Damn you, husband. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make husband find it again. Husband! Yes, I'm the princess of power. All right, we're in meaty tuck, mound bottom. You call this vanilla, it's not vanilla. You have to understand, this is not villa, vanilla. It's a villa, but it's not a vanilla villa. Because, do you know how many homes I've seen that don't have any plants, don't have any clutter, don't have interesting use of things like, I don't know, Adding orcish tents upside down as a roof. 
you are very diff you're very good and you don't give yourself enough credit you kind of say ah, oh, it's boring vanilla it's not vanilla it's not you got too much going on for it to be plain old blah you did cool stuff that yeah you know what i did with it i um uh, aren't they i actually <clears throat> used it for storage you've really gone orky and I like the cobbled bed because it really is like the headboard is basically a cobbled bed. And then over here we have like a desk with stuff on it. And, and you, you know, you've even got mini orc statues. I mean, it's an orc's home, clearly. I really like these as plants. I think you've used them before and I, they have such a unique color. I, I really like it. So, and even the meal is interesting. You don't. I just, you know, just so you understand, I don't find anything you do boring. This is really cool, by the way. This is the bread upside down. And then there's um, a radish in it. But it looks like because of the light, the co light color, it almost looks like a souffle or a cake. That's really neat. Really cool looking house. Yes, I agree with you about the ceilings. The ceilings are annoying as hell. I mean it. Let me show you mine. My roof. I think, I don't know if I changed it, but my roof, I think I was using, and put some storage up there so that it didn't look stupid. So yes, I stuck some lights up there and I think I was going to put some, some storage up there, but I guess I didn't, but it's kind of amazing to me. You went all actual orc and I went like not actual orc at all. I went like the opposite direction to try to change it up. Um, I'm trying to find something. There's nothing wrong with that. It takes some real skill. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that some people are good at and some people aren't. It's sort of like cobbling. Some people are, you know, good at doing that kind of thing and some people aren't. That's all. I personally am not. Just give me a sec. I'm trying to find something. Can't find it. All right. Keep it going. See, but that's what I'm talking about. Giving it that kind of thought. A lot of people don't give things that kind of thought. That's a lot. And it's good. It's good that you give it that kind of thought. It's interesting. Um, 32 days. We just did that one. We did a cold harbor. Zero. Yeah, it's true. I need to start thinking that way more. We did the dagger fall. All right. Earth tear. Ship crib from Shibbeth. I'm not sure what we're gonna see here, but let's let's give it a shot, shall we?
Oh, pretty. Okay, I'll admit it. I did not expect this with someone named Shibbeth and then the Shib Crib. I expect it to be silly. But they're not mundane. That's the thing. I find things I like about everybody's homes. I really do. It's not a... I don't find them to be mundane. My self-criticism, though, is very... That is very true. I'm very hard on myself. I really like how they're moving in... In almost a geometric way. Oh, no! She's stuck! I mean, I especially like humor in builds. That cracks me up. I love it. It just... One of my favorite things about building is when people do silly things. And it doesn't even have to be like an, a, an elegant joke. It can just be stupid silly. And, and I actually probably prefer it if it's stupid. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I know a lot of people who feel that way. This is quite elegant in here. <laughs> She's stuck. Yes, it's very, very elegant. I didn't expect it at all. I thought it would be like a modern kind of house with the name. But no, they really went like serene and pretty. And then back here we've got... I wonder who's crushing the grapes. Who's, whose job it is. Apparently the bears. Hey, Drop Stitch. Nice to see ya. All right. I think my husband's on the phone. I can't ask him to send me things when he's on the phone with work. Boo. I am jealous. Give me your antique. I never got the drops that I need for that. You know, whenever anybody would run me through some of those things, We'd sit there, like Hammy, uh, the real war hamster, would sit there and go, th and we'd sit there and try to get the drop for them. Dog. And it didn't matter. The wolf, rather. We would, no matter how long we were there, it would never drop. Yeah, it's like each one is a separate little hotel. Oh, boy. Let's just pretend. Okay. I don't know what the deal is with the baby <laughs> body parts of it but there is something so freaky <laughs> I, mean, I don't even I can't even like <laughs> put it together in my head oh my lord and that is a lot of ivory <laughs> is that a razor head oh crap you're right that's I never watched the whole thing but you're right yeah, but it's still funny in, in, in a really twisted way. I think they need, I don't know. Yeah. Is this a, why is everything, why is there, that must be a hag section, like a, a witch's section over here. Yeah, whatever it is. I don't think that the the director ever explained that, did they? I read up on a racer head for a while there. Um, I don't need that kind of depressing ass movie, but oh, look at that! Nice placement, Chibeth. It looks good. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in it. That's true. But you know, some people need that. Some people need excitement in their houses. If it's not exciting, they get bored. Um, ooh. All right, let's go around the other way. And other people want something very calm and serene and, and only that. Oh, look, they made it an inverse pool. And they lit it quite nicely. Actually, it's less of a pool, more of a fountain, because the water is so... Um, 
shallow. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, they closed off the back. Really an interesting home. And I say that in a, in a complimentary way, not in a, oh, that's interesting. Uh, all right. Please, K noob. Oh, we'll see. Make Eleanor great. If it's if it's a Trumpian thing, I might have to leave. We'll see. I don't know if I can handle it. You know me. I'm allergic. Maybe not. Okay. I don't see a, one of the signs for the login thing. That's weird. What is that? Is that a person with a penis? They should have marked this as a, a little bit um, not safe for work. But, you know. Maybe not. I, I mean, I guess that's uh, that's how I'm interpreting it. Maybe I just have a dirty mind. We'll just pretend like I, I have a dirty mind and we'll keep going. Again, with the lots of stuff going on, which is good. It makes a house exciting. If that's, if that's what you want and not peaceful or whatever, exciting is a way to go. It, it is. See, that's what I thought, but I didn't want to make an assumption because I I don't want people to say, oh, it was a perfectly innocent thing and you interpreted it dirty because that's happened. That has happened to me. I have interpreted something and it was not dirty and I made it dirty so I worry about that now this is actually a very nice spot very elegant little relaxing space you missed yesterday job stitch I did EU all day <laughs> yes you do uh, I would have done you one of your houses but I was holding back until you were on so I didn't want to uh, go without you I'll probably do you again tomorrow. I'm sorry. Do I have anything open that would buffer? I don't have anything that would buffer open. I think that's it. I don't think we can get in there. Unless it's a maze and I'm a moron who doesn't know how to get into the house. Let's see if I'm... What do you do, drop stitch? If I'm allowed to ask, I, I, aren't you like a graphic designer or something? I forget. <laughs> I expect we will be seeing other dirtiness like that. Apparently, apparently clavicus vile is a little bit vile. <clears throat> We've got a really nice uh, aquarium, though. Oh, Clavicus, you're so vile. <laughs> I'm amazed that she doesn't have a penis. Just add them everywhere. This is true, and then switched it out. It's possible. Yes, that's a nice trick, isn't it? I've seen it one other place. I can't remember where. So basically, if we're making Eleanor great again, includes lots of penises on things, I'd say that's about accurate for making it great again. Making everything a dick. <laughs> Bathroom. Yeah, it's so funny. Actually, it's a lovely bathroom. Pfft. 
They actually did a really good job. It's just the silly dick humor gets me. In a good way. It makes me giggle. I mean, it, it achieves that which it intends to do, I believe. Okay, so let's go on the other side, I think, to get up the stairs. One more stairway. Nope, can't get upstairs. There's no way. All right, so that's fun. That's, it's a definitely a fun trick to do. All right, my new a day at the market exercise. Now, don't be afraid to ask if you need any advice, suggestions, anything, let me know. <clears throat> I have not done today's question yet. I'll do it. May 24th. Seven out of 400 a day at the market. Yes. In, uh, on NA, it's 7.45 p.m. Which means it'll get dark in about an hour or two on NA. So, yes, this is a shopping experience. I don't know what it is on EU, but I don't know if they're the same time or not. That's interesting with the meat just hanging there. They covered up the water area. That's different. I would hope so. I don't know though. What's over here? What are the, oh, those are tags. These are for sale. Oh, it took me a minute. EHT, essential housing tools. If you do slash game time, one word, it'll tell you. Cardi put that into essential housing tools. Wait, can you go in the, no. All right, we'll go up here. And then this is a, Cool little spot. <laughs> he puts lots of little sneaky sneakies in there. I know what you mean. It's a lot. It's very easy to not know what he's up to. Hold on. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put funny things on glasses. Let's put just do sunglasses. Okay. Hello. We are looking at a shopping spot. Got storage here, I think. The whole house is very, uh, it's, it's a town, really. If you look at it carefully, it looks like a town, right? And in a very small space, too, which is impressive. And then they have lots of clutter in each area for what's being sold. So there you go. It's a sh sh shoppy town. I have one of those. Not in this house. I give them credit for that. Forsaken. Hykova Estate Forsaken. I will be right back. I've been drinking a lot of coffee, so hold on.
know you held uh, held uh, contests for what guild or thing? All right, all right. Here we are, Miss America, six hundred or six hundred. We're in Forsaken. Look at how beautiful Forsaken this is. Look at the way the trees are just completely obscuring everything. You're, you, it's like an arbor. That's beautiful. The thing that always bothered me about this house, though, is that when you get to the end, unless somebody's smart enough to, like, loop it back like this, a lot of times it just ends. So I'm glad that she did that. Some and all. Also, it takes skill to even recognize that these mushrooms look better stacked like that. Because they don't come that way. I know I didn't put two and two together. I had to see it, other people using it properly. So is anybody worried, like, trying to figure out how to do something or make something and kind of stuck? Because I was thinking about doing vehicles for the next cobble showcase. Oh, look at that with the kitty. But I could change it up depending on what people need at the moment. Lord knows I have a lot of vehicles. This is really, I mean, it's such a pretty take on Forsaken. Oh, nice. Look at the waterfalls behind the uh, aquarium. Words today. Words, man, are just not working. Beautiful. Oh, this is so much nicer than a regular orc home. Oh, my goodness. I'm not big on orcs. You've probably picked up on that. Oh, look at the difference between <laughs> this and the body parts in the last one. <laughs> is that a changing? I think that's a changing table. That's wild. I never would have thought of that. This is so nice. Toilet. Turlet. This is quite lovely. I really like this Seminole. Then again, I've always liked your style. I've seen a lot of her homes and I've always liked all of it. Look at that fridge. Freezer, actually. Deep freeze. She's cooking stuff on the oven. On the stove, rather. The smoke coming out. Mine is not like this at all. I like this. It's like storage for the person. Not storage for the home creator, but storage for the person who lives here. It's neat. Oop, what do we have in here? Look at all these divided up rooms. This is cool. Upstairs bathroom. So we have two bathrooms. No sneaky? No sneaky. This must be a bedroom. Yes. Oh, look at the toys. This person, honestly, like, it's so sweet how they have so many toys in this house. And now they have another layout. I mean, another uh, floor, which is a loft. Nice little loft up there. Agreed. It's an awkward house. Agreed. And then over this part, more toys. It's like only little kids live here. It's adorable. And that kid is painting. And then this is, no, no, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that dollhouse. 
That is amazing. That is, that is the cleanest dollhouse. It's like it was made to look like this, you know? It's fantastic. I am, I am impressed. Knock me over with a feather. That looks fabulous. That is fantastic. Hey, Liz T, been a while. How's it going? If I can get out. Oh, so the second floor has a, uh, a, gr a greenhouse sticking out so that you end up going in the greenhouse instead of out in the yard. This is beautiful, Seminole. I'm really impressed. Good job. It's a lots of fun. Withermeyer's Frost Vault. All right. So my husband went to go get me coffee yesterday and he's like, Karen, I overheard the baristas teaching the new one how to do it. And he's like, and I saw what they gave me. And he's like, this is too dark. And I took, and he's like, you're not going to be happy. He doesn't drink coffee. So he brought it home and I took a sip and I'm like, yeah, you nailed it. It's too dark. A6. So it's really strong. I'm going to warm, uh, water it down a little bit later, but. Woo! Hi, hi, Euro. So this is 243 out of 400, just a little bit over half, and I don't think it's done. I was. It was, uh, it was Night Ravens, actually, who's in channel on NA, in case you're curious. So they've turned this into a home. Okay, a home home. I know it sounds strange when I say they turn things into a home, but not everyone does like residential homes. You know, a lot of times people do different things, you know? It does. It makes it a more alive feeling and less icy. But I don't think they're done yet. I think they're working on it. But it's nice. Oh shit, I almost died. I gotta stop. <laughs> All right. I always wonder about Hootums, if I should go or not. Because she's a, uh... I, I never know if it's gonna be dirty or not. <laughs> she's a little bit of a dirty, dirty mind. Grand City. It is hot in here though. All right. Six sixty one out of seven hundred, so we're full. Arteum Art Gallery. Well that tells us what we are looking for. Bad mojo. Put a boat out there in the distance. Very nice. Uh, there's a couple. Oh, pretty. Um, it really depends. I think my, I think there's one that I swear, maybe you built in an apartment that somebody did in an apartment. I can't remember who it was, but it was... J Hart toured it and it was really good and I think it won a contest. Maybe the apartment contest? I'm not sure. But it was maybe a snow melt? There's even a cemetery in the back here. That's the only one that I know of from a long ways back. And that was because uh He held a contest and, and we didn't really have the things to make a good black reach. And yet, I can't get up there. And yet someone did it. We, there we go. I had to take a running jump. And that's what was so impressive, especially back then. 
this. Wow, somebody managed to do it without any items really meant for that. All right, so this is a tree house, I'm guessing. Hard to see. That's probably why they haven't finished it. I see, we have more up on the side too. Somebody, there's a walkway over there. Whoops. Let's see if I can get up on that walkway. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in the thing up there, but we can de definitely try to crawl up it. we go uh no we can't get in it but we can go up it strange some people like to see how how tall they can make things and i am a big fan of that because i like building up i'm surprised they didn't put stairway all the way up here some people do it can be done. Well, look at that. Out in the ocean. That almost looks like um, like artistry on its own, like a hand holding something. It's crazy. There's like random greenhouses everywhere, which is fun. Okay, okay. Here we go. Let me put my root in the bank. I don't need to carry around roots for no reason. There. So we got a crafting room. There's that. Let's destroy this. Uh, let's destroy my Electrum necklaces I just put away. Nothing. Nothing! Oh, what have we done here? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, congratulations! I'm glad to hear it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Which is a phrase I never heard until I moved to the Midwest. Because apparently that's a thing out here. Church sales or something? I don't know. But it was not something I'd ever heard before then. And I lived in the West Coast and the East Coast. That's pretty. Morning, green love! I have a freezer with tater tots in it. Delicious. I'm a cannibal, I admit it. Look at how each one has its own like light over it. I know, I should be working on my own stuff. That's interesting. But every so often I just don't I do want to look at other people's stuff, and other days I just want to build, and those are rare. <laughs> I do want to look for a levitating bed, though. Let's see if any of my guilds have one, and then we'll move on. I wanted to see something. Allow me... No. No, no. Yes. All right. 
Let me see something. I want to see if I can find furnishings levitating. by two. See how they work. We're going to test something and then we'll go move it on. hand. All right, so this is what I was thinking of. Like, it hit me while I was asleep. And I don't know why it hit me when I was asleep, but it did. Um, I, it occurred to me that if I'm going to make a boat, make a boat, make a boat, that what I could do is make the boat float. But that depends on the bottom of these things. Let's see. Oh, no, it won't work. That does not look boaty, does it? Boaty McBoat face does not look boaty. Well, maybe we'll try it. All right. Let's see. If I make the whole deck boaty, it might make the, ha the boat feel as if it's floating, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I know it'll be the only moving part, which would be weird, but. I kind of like it. Now, these will be uh, synced when you come in the house. They'll move at the same time. They won't be this kind of weird thing. But I kind of like it, dude. I think it could be fun. Why not, right? It's all about making yourself happy, right? Now that won't work to lower one down a little bit more. Yeah, that might be odd. They're going to have to sync up, but I think they will. Otherwise, they can't cross each other. It'll be difficult to do that, but we'll see. So that. I don't know. I like it. I don't know if there's anything else that that levitates in the game. But I kind of want it to feel like you're you're on a boat that's moving cuz I mean boats don't stay perfectly still. Right? Parts of it at least would would levitate. Not all of it necessarily, but some of it might. I don't know. That'd be interesting. Maybe the bottom floor.
know. We'll think about it. It's just a thing I was thinking about. Scrying on. Oh, Turkinev, are you on? Wait, we've seen your hog parts. What am I thinking? I don't know. I just think it would be fun to try things like that. Maybe they don't just, maybe they don't look right. I don't know. But aside from those in the books, I don't know of any other flattish items that levitate. Everything else is like round. All right, 700 out of 700, scrying eye. Huh. Villa Portal, Little Rifton, Little Muffin. Oh, Muffin. I don't know what that means. 26 effects. Maybe a guild house, perhaps? Merchant Hut. I mean, I don't know. If it makes you excited about building, then what the hell? If it looks stupid, it looks stupid. Merchant Hut. Do, do, do. Crafting. Yeah, this looks like a guild house to me. We'll just take a quickie run through and then move on. What's in here? Maybe a meeting room? I think this is actually the standard. Yeah. All right. I think it's a guild house, and I think we will move on. Rosetta, we did. 14 days. L Lunora. Crystalline Grotto. Lake Mire. so much for the follow we're looking at a uh, lake mire lake mire lenora 6.99 at 700 crystalline grotto well they're aiming as yes you can uh hold on just a moment mm -mm -mm. it's stabity period, all caps, TCE. So if you wish to use it, it's a one-time discount. So it looks like that. The crown exchange, guys, if you ever want to use a discount from me, there you go. My discount code. It's a one-time thing, but it's a uh, 25 gold off per crown. Because I am a partner. And a fan, actually. Come to think of it. I'm a big fan of them. Alright. Let me change my finger. I'm a hot potato. I'm a hot potato. I could do the twist. I could do the twist. Tell me, baby. Tell me, baby. Uh, yeah. I do. I have lots of them. Unfortunately, it's hard for me to decide. Let me see for uh, cafes. Cafes. Now, unfortunately, I have kind of a mixture of kitchens and cafes at the same time, but uh, we'll we'll get to them. This is research. This is just a bakery, but. I'll try to find the cafe ones. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. If you see something that 
inspires you before I get to a cafe, you can stop me and I'll go back. But there's a mixture of cafes and, uh, I mean, in terms of coffee makers, I have a zillion of them. And tons of sinks and ovens and Jesus, all of the things. Let me see. I know which one I was thinking of. Some of these are, are refreshing my memory too, so. I've got to resort these. Here's a cafe, C code. Um, it's actually more of a cafeteria, this one. There's so many coffee makers, you just have no idea how many there are. If you ever ask me, I probably have about 40 of them. See, here's another one. Here's the little bakery part by Floof. This is, a, this is in fact, a cafe. Yes, the waffle maker is cool. I don't know where it was, but yes, I know which one you're talking about. Mm. Here's another coffee maker. I love that oven. This was a little, you know, shop window. Oh, and this is like those fruit dispenser thingies, iced fruit. Ah, here we go, Lady Pan. Look at that, man, madness. Lady Pan's Moon Mirth. That is what I was, I think, thinking of. We can go there real quick. Yeah, generally, yeah. Oh, Lady Billion. I hope it's still up, because there's a lot going on in that house. This is one by Masha. Hi, Sweezy. Nice to see you. Mystery, Bunny Bush, Danny Elder, Danny Elder, Danny Elder. Hold on a moment. I'm going to show us the cafe. All right. I love this cafe. Okay. So this is a cafe by Lady Pan. And if you'll note, look at the sign outside. It's actually got a tea pot and tea cup. If I were you, I'd possibly, I'd, you know, take that idea out of it. This is a moon mirth, if you can believe it. And then you get inside and have the little itty bitty tables. Aren't they cute? And then here's the the, where you pay and that's the uh, the napkins and the spoons and the forks that I took a picture of and then back here is where you make everything and this is the register I think no that's just a display case there you go that's just a display case with the with the um, hand thingy, opener. So that's that one. And then, um, give me a moment. 
There's some really good cafes. Isn't it? Isn't it though? I mean, there's some really good ideas that people have. It's just kind of amazing what people come up with. Um, just a sec. There's another one I'm thinking of that would be good for you to see in terms of cafes. Sugar, lighter than mild. Figment pigment barbed hook. Um, this just because I like the decorations on the wall mostly. I'm glad. Cake shop. This is the cake shop. So if you could believe it, this is a barbed hook. Look at all those snacks, right? You got a chocolate cake. You've got a, a fancy cake over here. And that's like a fruit cake with other fruit things and everything sticking through. Pre pretty amazing, huh? And here's the uh, cash register in the barbed hook of all things, you know? Look at that cash register. And then here's the oven, and you've got another cake. Isn't that a cool cake? This is a frosting uh, ba bag in case you want to do some sort of bakery thing. A frosting bag is a really good idea. I'm a big fan of this particular build. Um, then they have a mixer with the little hand as the mixer. I think that's cute. Um, and then here's the oven, or the stove rather, and here's where they decorate the cakes with the little red stuff, which you can just drip on it, if that makes any sense. It looks like they're decorating cakes here. And then here's they're rolling out the dough, and that's of course using a candle, upside down candle, that's what works with that. And then, uh... I think this is making the dough, not 100%, but I think that's what that is, and that's it. But I mean, that's enough, isn't it? Oh, that was what I came here to show you, was the stuff, the pots on pans on the wall, I thought, it was kind of brilliant. I think it really changes the feel of the place. I don't know. What do I know? I'm trying to find the next one I was thinking of. Okay, that's all of that, but that is not the food. The food, there's a particular ice cream that blew me away that I can never forget. It's, it's the best food ever. Actually, I'm just going to show you the food as we go through, because why not? We've got, um, this is just a serving dish. I never think about that, but there's details about you know what you're making and lots of different ideas to make them this is a chocolate cake cookie is made by Chrysea vines uh, I don't I think those are scallops if I had to guess I think those are scallops and then broken pumpkin bread and eggs that's a great idea for eggs. If you're doing a bakery, there's eggs. And then um, here's rolling out cookies. 
This is um, ices and uh, what the hell are those things? Cotton candy. This is Aya did uh, sushi. And this is a carved ice sculpture by Strike Four. Marley Bear did, um, what the hell are those things called? Flan. Look at this fe feast here. And then uh, Six did a, a really good fridge. These are white, white cookies, I think. White chocolate chip cookies by Six as well. And then... Uh, look at that little teapot. Oh, to die for. And then Madam Strange has a, a really good serving dish here. And these are Joshua. Made some cakes and stuff. And Snake Scaly made a really gorgeous boat here. Fruit boat. And then uh, Airy with lots of cooking. Here's a cake by Corundum. Mmm. Saluthian is cutting out pieces for biscuits or something. Um, I also like the decoration by all the thickness. And then this was interesting. By putting a piece of cheese in it, they made it look like a slice was removed. Isn't that wild? Here's a burger by Alara. The teapot was made of a turtle and a teapot. If you take the regular teapot and then put the turtle through it, that's how they made that, I think. That's all right. And that's some iced up stuff. Walking Spanish made some different different cooked meats like the meats are at different stages of being cooked which is wild this is a pizza um charolais made like vinegar in like veggies and vinegar and then this one is one of those like uh shops that has everything going by on a conveyor belt and you pull off what you want here's a little drink by bombson um, serving by Looney. More pizza. Different kind. Here's some Hachiko-chan desserts. More of them. Ah, this is what I was looking for. Kalaleo's Domus. That is what I was looking for. I don't know if it's still up, but if it is, you know what's funny is Kalaleo doesn't put a lot of their stuff out there, but everything they do is so good. It amazes me. Ah, sorry, my bad. But look at that. Doesn't that look exactly like ice cream? It's crazy good. Um, this is more of what Catalina made. I'm, I'm hoping it's still up. If it is, we're just gonna look at that in detail. This is, uh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. This one is Tulian made a hamburger. All right, so this is Calileo's Domus, and this is the one I was just showing you. You got to see this. This house is phenomenal. So this is the outside of the Domus. You got little spots to eat, which are umbrellas. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best builds I've ever seen, honestly. And you've got all sorts of different desserts in the window. If I can get a good spot to show you. We got all different kinds of cakes. Um, we've got a little star cake too. Tarts, cookies. Um, and then inside, oh, it gets, it's just so good. We have uh, different kinds of cakes here. Those almost look like pancakes almost chocolate cake, white cake. Um, that could look like pie. Sandwich cookies. All different kinds of fancy cookies. Uh, and here's the ice cream service. So you get the, the herbs, or in the background, the saffrons. Sorry. 
thank you so much for the follow sky views and here's the holders and then here's all the different things you can put on your ice cream hot fudge sugar sprinkles all sorts of stuff and then uh if you look at the finished product which we were just looking at before that is an ice cream sundae tell me that isn't the coolest i about died when i saw that it just looks so much like an ice cream sundae it's dead on even the holder now that's their coffee maker they made it out of a car i mean it's just wild in here everything is friggin cool i'm easily amused but this stuff is cool you can't i just can't and then here's a different view of the stuff in the window and then uh look at the little birds holding the lanterns what a great spread all right so then i'm not sure but i think there's a backyard or back way forget how it's done Oh, and up here you can eat outside. This is this is a good cafe explanation, I think. I think this is excellent in case you're curious. Um, if you if you guys are patient, I mean if you, if I'm not making you crazy, there's another really good one that I want to show you. Tulian's Kragenholm. It's amazing how a lot of these, uh, most of the fabulous ones are done in small spaces for some reason. I just don't know how they manage it, but they do. Like you wouldn't think that someone could manage to do this in a Kragen home, but they do. And then I think that'll be it for the for exclamation point potato PCNA PCEU please if you want 50,000 gold I am not doing well today so we may be again short so this is supposed to be like a McDonald's so here's another another holder of uh, forks spoons napkins here's a salt and pepper right then over here we have balloons somebody's having a birthday right and then over here is a burger. Maybe the top of the burger is off of it because they're putting stuff on it. Here's another burger. Then we have a, I believe that's the coffee maker. And then we have the fries. They're making fries over here with hay. They used the hay, which is brilliant. They're putting cheese on burgers as they cook them. This is making shakes. And then there, there's the food, I mean the register. Words, see, words are not coming to me. Um, and then, the, you know, as if that wasn't enough, they had to make an arcade game, a claw machine. That probably works. And uh, this is one of those things you put in a quarter and you get a like ball out of it or something. This is as if you just, you know, as if that wasn't enough, you know, he, uh, Tulian is just amazing. There is a, isn't any question. So I hope you all get some inspiration from it. All right. Let me pick the winner. Winner is Runel. It sends you money. Um, and I will be back tomorrow and hopefully in time I will be starting to feel better. I have a fever right now and I'm still trying to get over what was getting me the other day. So I will see you all tomorrow. I'm just going to call it without rating off and I'll see you then. Have a wonderful day. And uh, if you have any more questions about spots, kinds of things you want to see, just let me know. It helps helps me come up with stuff. I'll talk to you later.